I'm Bradley Sumter, and today I want to talk to you about like the power of music. So when you think of music, what comes to your like what comes to mind? Is it like your favorite genre, favorite artist, you know, favorite song maybe? Uh, but to me, when I think of music, first thing that comes to my mind is like how it can like basically like mood change. So <clears throat> when I think about this, I think about it because like one day, go my first story. I think Colin says when it's like a mood changer. I came home one day, my mom was stressing out, you know, she does that a lot. I don't like seeing her like that though. And uh, I know my mom is a big fan of Ruben Mars. So like, you guys know the song that, was it 24 Karat Magic? She loves that song, right? And uh, so I think that song is a good example here because one day, like I said, she was stressing, I came home. And uh, so I went in my room, you know, got my speaker, put on Spotify, put that song on. And when I sat there listening to it, I saw her whole mood change. She went from like stressing out so much, was sitting there, you know, basically on the first to cry and stressing out so much. And then I saw that her mood change to like she was like glowing, she was happy, dancing, singing along. That's like when I really realized how like the power of music and how it can change, you know, your mood if you're like you're down or anything. Okay. <clears throat> So now I want to read you some statistics. So this is from spin.com. It says 92% of Americans 12 years or older listen to broadcast radio, and about 47% of the same age group listen to online music. That's about one, that's about 124 million people, and that's all in one month. Now, <clears throat> this part, I want to talk about something a little darker now in this part. So, I want to talk about how music can like save your life, basically. Now, so music, like I said, is a mood changer. So, like, if you're like down and out, and like you're contemplating suicide or something like that, why would you want to listen to music that can, you know, help like help fuel that drive? Why would you want to listen to somebody like, you know, like I said, like Bruno Mars, somebody who's, you know, energetic, wants you to get up and like dance and move around. So like now, I really don't like seeing people like sad and like out of it. So like I really like drive you guys to you know listen to something energetic and like something that'll change your mood. So like Wayne said, something makes you happy. So like you do something like that. <clears throat> so now for my next story, I want to uh, talk to you guys about how one day I was sitting in my room, you know, not very happy, and I was listening to music. And I heard this song come on that I haven't heard before. It was by a, an artist that I knew, but I never knew like this song before. His name was Futuristic. I don't know if you guys know him or not. But I was listening to it one day, and like after it was over, it just made me really think about how the power of music and how it's like a big mood changer. So I'm going to play you a part of that song that like really helps drive this part. <laughs> Yeah, here's the thing. This is like the rest of the day. Be a fan, myself inside this room. Started making hell and drink. Burn myself to sleep at night. Swear I've been in hell and back. Loaded up that gun I bought. Went through everything I had. Put it on the envelope. Had it sitting in my head. Wrote my mama letters and apologized for suicide. I've been on the mission that they talk about when you would try. Had my finger on the trigger. Would have left it all behind. And lyrics popped into my head. Maybe music saved my life. what he said he said like he was had the gun pressed to his head and was you know getting ready to leave everything behind and then lyrics popping to his head and as you can tell he didn't kill himself so that just really shows you and shows me that with the power of like music anything is possible thank you